This video is brought to you by Unboxed. Yo, what's going on you beautiful and handsome, handsome people. In this video, I got an awesome camera comparison where we're gonna be looking at the Galaxy S9 Plus versus the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, if you're interested in the exact camera specifications of each of these phones, make sure you check down below as I've listed them in the description. I don't wanna waste any more of your time, so let's go ahead and dive straight into this. The Galaxy S9 Plus and the Galaxy S10 Plus both have excellent cameras, but from my testing, the Galaxy S10 Plus tends to be a decent step up, even if the difference isn't huge. The S10 Plus tends to produce richer colors with better contrast and better dynamic range right out of the camera 99% of the time. The Galaxy S9 Plus tends to land on the warmer side during bright day shots, while the S10 Plus retains a warmer tone but accentuates the blue skies a little bit better at times. Both phones are very sharp and in many occasions tend to be overly processed. The Galaxy S10 Plus actually seems to be a little harsher with the processing at times, especially when the HDR kicks in. Some people may like this look while others are going to be completely turned off and have a problem with it. One thing I found rather cool about the Galaxy S10 Plus when it comes to the new HDR algorithm is when the camera detects the subject correctly, it will brighten the skin tone slightly while not making them disgusting and apply most of the HDR processing to the background. You can see it in this photo of my wife where the S9 Plus failed at exposing correctly while the S10 Plus did a great job on the subject but was a little too aggressive with the HDR processing in the background. I think the idea behind it was awesome but I think that the implementation was just a little bit too much. The telephoto shots appear brighter with increased dynamic range on the S10 Plus. However, at times I prefer the colors on the S9 Plus, such as this shot here. This goes back to what I stated regarding warmer tones on the S9 versus the cooler colors and bluer skies on the S10. One thing the S10 Plus has over the S9 Plus is the wide angle, which is absolutely ridiculous and looks amazing. Just don't use it in portrait mode, otherwise you will get awful distortion. In most circumstances, the S10 controls flares a bit better, but there are occasions where this isn't so. The good news is, the S10 does produce better skin tones, but they still need quite a bit of work if you're looking for detail. Unfortunately, there is a layer of beauty mode that gets applied regardless if it's turned off or not. Live focus on the rear cameras has improved and is a bit more accurate. It's also much wider, which is great for capturing images without being all up in your subject's business. Since the front side now has an additional camera strictly for depth sensing, Live Focus has more accurate subject background separation, as seen here where the S9 Plus decided to give me a crown of trees. You also get some cool but gimmicky blur and lighting effects like the zoom one that you see here. Low light has improved in some areas while almost taking a step backwards in others. Skin tones appear over sharpened and waxy due to the extremely aggressive noise reduction and over processing. Colors are almost identical on both phones, but the S10 Plus does have better dynamic range in the highlights and brighter parts at the cost of more noise in the midtones, which honestly surprised me. Switching things over to video, slow motion has been improved and looks a little better on the S10 Plus. The time limit has also been lengthened to eight seconds versus four seconds on the S9 Plus. 4K video looks really close on both phones. The S10 Plus slightly edges out the S9 Plus with better dynamic range and richer colors. The S10 Plus also has the ability to switch to a wide angle lens, which is just awesome. Also, the S10 Plus has a trick up its sleeve if you want extreme dynamic range by being able to record video in HDR10+. When playing back the footage on your S10, it's gonna look just fine. But if you put the footage on your computer and on YouTube, chances are it's going to look like this. As you can see, the footage is extremely flat, but packs a ton of dynamic range. By applying a simple color correction and grade, you could really squeeze a ton of DR out of the image. Here's another example. As you can see, the shadows are crushed on the S9 Plus due to the brighter areas in the image since the metering is exposing for the highlights. The S10 Plus, when HDR10 Plus is enabled, packs a ton of detail in the shadows and highlights when the image is in this log or flat state. With correction, you can retain more information versus that of the S9 Plus. Video stabilization on both of these phones is great considering they both are packing OIS, and the S10 Plus features super steady video, which takes it even further as you can see. However, what's weird is when I disabled super steady video, the OIS on board the S10 is actually worse than that on the S9 Plus, as you can see by the jitters and wobble. It's not terrible, but still very interesting nonetheless. Finally, let's wrap things up with a quick front-facing video test. 
All right, so this is a quick front-facing video test on each of these cameras. Um, one thing that's unique about the Galaxy S10 Plus is that it does 4K front-facing video, so let me know down in the comments, do you like the 4K from the Galaxy S10 Plus, or do you like the Quad HD from the Galaxy S9 Plus? Also, how does the audio sound? I got some, some wind, some background noise. Uh, how's the noise cancellation? How's the stabilization? How's the image? From the looks of it, they look pretty good. I do gotta say though, whoa, that's a lot of wind. Let's walk back this way. Do gotta say though, the Galaxy S10 Plus seems to be much more cropped in. The camera on the Galaxy S10 Plus is definitely an improvement over the S9 Plus, but that's not to say that it's perfect and that it doesn't have its quirks. In fact, in many cases, I would say the S10 Plus isn't as consistent as the S9 Plus this is for better or for worse. The good thing is all of this can be fixed with a major software update. And if the Note 9 is anything to go by, Samsung will probably be pushing out several updates in the coming months to really elevate the camera performance of this phone, which is already great. But hey, this is what I have to say. What do you beautiful, sexy, stunning, gorgeously haired people have to say what do you think is the galaxy s10 plus a big upgrade over the s9 plus or is it like going from a snow cone to a popsicle let me know down below in the comment section and while you're down there go ahead and subscribe because i have a bunch more s10 s10 plus and s10e content coming and you're not going to want to miss it also while you're down there click the bell icon and follow me on social media so you don't miss any new updates new videos and you can chime in on what video i make next i hope you liked this one and of course i'll catch you in the next one Unbox tracks and highlights top content creators and product review videos on YouTube while breaking down the latest trends in categories such as phones, computers, photography, video games, smart home, plus much, much more. All products are available to purchase directly to the site sourced from retailers such as Amazon, Best Buy, and b &H Photo. As a content creator who claims their Unbox profile, you'll receive 100% affiliate revenue and Unbox takes nada off the top. All of the Unbox profiles are automatically updated to reflect each new video to ensure that the creator's library stays up to date. So whether you're a creator, thinking about becoming a creator, or even a consumer, make sure to check out the Unbox link in the description.